Welcome to this introduction to the Recordex brand SimplicityCam document camera. This device is very different than what you may be used to, so let's dive in and learn a little bit about it. The Simplicity Cam has a smaller footprint with a sturdy steel base to prevent tipping and increase stability. Two rugged pivot hinges give you long-lasting flexibility and a range of motions, allowing you to share materials up to 15 inches high by 20 inches wide. Set the Simplicity Cam higher for those bigger documents and objects, and lower for smaller materials. Generally, the lower you can get, the better your projected image will be. You can even flip up the head of the Simplicity Cam and use it for video conferencing. And don't worry about recording audio, as there's a built-in microphone included. There are only four control buttons on the Simplicity Cam. Power for turning the device on or off, AF for auto-focusing the Simplicity Cam, LEDs for cycling through the light modes, and flip for turning your projected material 180 degrees. Speaking of LEDs, the Simplicity Cam has two LED light sources. The headlight can be set on or off. The arm lights can be set off, low, medium, or high, giving you exactly the light you need when projecting. Pressing the LED button will cycle through these settings. Unlike your previous document camera, in order to use your new Simplicity Cam, you'll need to use the X-Site software installed on your computer. Here's a quick look at opening and using the software. You should have a shortcut on your desktop for the X-Site software. Locate the shortcut, double-click to open it, And when the software opens, you will see a small viewing window on your computer. And in the center, you'll see the live preview of whatever you have underneath the document camera. You'll also see a button bar across the bottom with some tools. Now, this isn't a very big window, so we'll want to maximize that and get the full size that we can. But before you do that, if you're using an extended view, with your computer, you'll need to grab the top menu bar and move that window over so that it shows up on your projector. If you are duplicating your screens and what you see on the monitor is the same thing you see on your projector, you can go ahead right now and click that maximize button to make that window bigger. So that's a little bit better, but also down in our toolbar, we also have a button that will make full screen size. When I click that, this is what I see. I still see the toolbar down at the bottom, and you do have the capability now to move that toolbar on the screen. Just grab the edge of it until you get the double-headed cross arrow and move it around. If it really bothers me and I don't need the tools, I can also click the hide button and it will collapse there on the screen. However, if I do want to use the tools, I'm going to go ahead and click show again to bring that toolbar back. Some of the tools that you have on here, let's go over really quickly things that you might find very useful right out of the box, are the zoom. It's a little slider that's right here. I can zoom in and out, or I can use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out. I can also zoom in, and if I want to focus on a particular place, I can move up and grab that image, see the little hand there, and just move that around so I can focus on a particular area. I'm going to scroll, zoom back, out a little bit more. One of the other features that you used with your previous docu document camera was the freeze. And that's kind of hidden here in our Xsite software. If I come down to the toolbar and I go to the annotate, the pencil, and click I get the option to show a couple of different toolbars. The one that we want to look at is the Image Effects Tools. When I click that, I get a toolbar. 
and again I can grab that little toolbar here with the double headed arrows and move it around if I want to. The freeze button is right here. Freeze the image. When I click that you'll see a little tiny circle underneath saying that the image is now frozen and if I reach over and move what's underneath my document camera you're not even seeing it move. If I press the button again you can see that I've moved this down a little bit. I'll move it back up for you so you can see that it's now a live image. If you want to use this often I would suggest that you just go ahead and collapse or dock this pane by clicking the little arrow that points to the left. Again, you could move that around if you want to, but it could stay right up there at the top. And if you're not interested in that, you can go ahead and open it up and just click the X to close that toolbar once again. So when you're done using the document camera and the software, you will want to um, use the full screen button to get back down to your regular size screen where you have your buttons here at the top because all you will need to do is go ahead and click the X at the top right to close that software. There are many more features available to you in the Excite software. You can annotate live images, take and save snapshots and sets of snapshots, and even record instruction, just to name a few. The Excite company has an extensive playlist of short informational videos available on YouTube describing how to use the different features in their software. Take three minutes to learn something new. The playlist is available at bit.ly forward slash eps Excite. Please note this URL is case sensitive. Additional resources on this topic and others are available from a database on the Educational Technology website. You can search by application title, text, or format, such as video, handout, or presentation. A direct link to this resource table is bit.ly forward slash eps dash resources. Please note that the URL is case sensitive. Maybe you're looking for something a little more than a handout or video. If so, also available from our EdTech website is a form for professional learning requests. The training could be for yourself, your PLC, or your building. To access the form, go to bit.ly forward slash EPS training. Again, please note that the URL is case sensitive.